Welcome to our first in-depth vocabulary snippet on, popular vocab on a popular vocabulary strategy, the Freyer model. My name is Kim. And I am Debbie. We will be facilitating this short session with an in-depth look at the Freyer model. Once you complete this webinar snippet, you should be able to apply the strategy in your classroom immediately to support students building their vocabulary needs. So let's get started. We are constantly seeking feedback from the teachers viewing our series and have heard your request for continued short strategy sessions that you can use immediately within your classroom instruction. The next several minutes will supply you with the knowledge and ideas of how to implement the strategy within your content area. So why use the Freyer model? The purpose of the Freyer model is to identify and define unfamiliar concepts in vocabulary. Students define a concept, a word, or a term, describe its essential characteristics, provide examples of the idea and, suggest, and suggested non-examples as well of the idea. Knowing what a concept isn't helps define it as well. This information is placed in a graphic organizer that is divided into four sections to provide a visual representation for students. The model prompts students to understand words within the larger context of a reading selection, as it asks students to analyze the concept or the word and then synthesize or apply the information by thinking of examples and non-examples. It also activates prior knowledge of a topic and builds connections. It is crucial to have a well-developed vocabulary routine in place in order to facilitate understanding, model sharing between students, and listen to connections that students are making with the new word. Students need repetition with new vocabulary words as well as time to practice for deeper understanding. Marzano stated that direct vocabulary instruction has an impressive track record of improving students' background knowledge and comprehension of academic content. There are six steps to explicitly teach vocabulary using the Freyer model. Started by, uh, start by explaining the Freyer model uh, graphic organizer to the class by using common vocabulary word to demonstrate the various components. Next, model how to complete the organizer and the quality of the desired responses when giving the examples and non-examples. Think out loud as you model the strategy for the students. Pictures and symbols can also be used for struggling learners. Then review a pre-selected list of vocabulary words with the class that are related to the topic of the next reading resource. Choose a vocabulary word from the topic read and have students help you complete the Freyer chart. Provide the students with copies of the Freyer model or have students create their own once they are familiar with the organizer and how to use it. Hmm. Next, have students practice the strategy in pairs or in small groups with the key concepts and key vocabulary from the topic. Each group should also be given different key concepts. Once they have completed the organizer, have them share completed charts with classmates. At this time, they can add any additional words, images, symbols to the Freyer chart until all four categories are substantially represented. Once students have finished, engage in reflection by having students explain why they completed these activities, asking them why it is important to not only learn new vocabulary words, but also analyze and take apart the words. Guide the discussion so that students are comfortable with correctly completing the graphic organizer and understand that listing char characteristics, examples, and non-examples of words helps in learning and remembering the words. Definitions are good too, but alone, they do not always help you remember and learn the word. To continue the learning, have students play word games to reinforce and review new vocabulary. Look at our, look at our word play snippet 
coming soon. The basic Freyer model template is shown in the slide above. You can adjust the template to fit the needs of your class and your content. Younger grades and students needing additional support many times are asked to add a picture or an image to their focused word to support the word <clears throat> retention. The bottom boxes can be adjusted to require the picture with the examples or even separately. Older students may need to use a student-friendly definition, one in their own words. You may wish to use the term synonyms or antonyms for them as well for some stretch. As you also have the students use the word in a sentence as long as it aligns with the way the word is used in the text or the article. Although the Freyer model standard is the definition, image, example, and non-example, it can be modified for the needs of the students. The example provided at the top of this slide would be an extension for advanced students. Adding synonyms and or antonyms will extend the student's thinking. The standard Freyer model can easily be adapted to include pictures or icons for students who need additional support. Teachers should provide explicit instruction for those students who need information broken down into smaller, more manageable chunks, as well as modeling and guiding practice to effectively use this organizer to learn new concepts. Academic vocabulary instruction is hard for both students and teachers, especially if all of the vocab, especially because of all of the vocabulary that is required for content area subjects such as history, social studies, geography, math, and science classes. This instructional strategy promotes critical thinking and helps students to identify and understand unfamiliar vocabulary, which they encounter in your class. Many students of poverty and EL students struggle with learning and using the key terms and concepts required for content area classes. This strategy will promote learning for all students. The first example is from a history class and the second example is from an ELA class. The slide shows how a biology and a math class can use the Freyer model to support building understanding of key concepts and vocabulary terms. The graphic helps students draw on prior knowledge and makes connections among concepts. A second science example for the secondary classroom is shown in the video link at the bottom of this slide. With quality vocabulary instruction, students move from everyday language to more formal mathematical language, eventually developing a mindset for thinking mathematically. While it is important to provide students with a graphic organizer when teaching and modeling the strategy, it is also important for students to create their own version to promote ownership once they are proficient with the strategy. Chart paper, index cards, notebooks, and sticky notes are all ways to engage students in creating their own Freyer models. The study step is a critical step to student success in using vocabulary strategies such as the Freyer model. Students need to study the terms to internalize them for later use. They can quiz each other during downtimes or the model cards can be used as part of a center activity. Students can apply the following ideas to study their Freyer models. One, they can cover each box of the Freyer model with a sticky note. Do not cover the word in the middle. Two, they can say the vocabulary word in the middle and try to say the definition. Three, if you do not know the definition, uncover the characteristics box and try to say the definition. Four, if you do not know the definition, uncover the examples box and try to say the definition. Five, if you do not know the definition, uncover the non-examples box and try to say the definition. And finally, six, if you do not know the definition, uncover the definition box. Any instruction that we should include a for, any instruction that we use should include a formative assessment piece embedded within the use of the tool. Not only does the formative assessment inform you and the student on where they are and what they are learning, but it also informs the teacher on the next steps with instruction to support students' growth with vocabulary learning. Some questions to focus on include: How did my students do using this tool and applying their knowledge? 
What additional supports do I need to provide to clarify their understanding and the, to support their growth? Perhaps I need to provide additional opportunities for practice. And how can I use this tool for additional practice to develop automaticity within the word or the concept? The websites and videos have been provided to help you dig deeper into the Freyer model if you so choose. Check out the idea boards link on the online resource that can be used to create a Freyer model that is great for virtual teaching. This concludes the Freyer model snippet. We hope you found some useful ideas to propel your vocabulary work forward using Freyer model. Links for all websites and videos can be found on the participation guide. See you soon.